So you've registered for the demo, you've received your user name and password that's unique to you, and you've now logged into the OSSLT Success demo. Well, welcome. But now what? Well, let me invite you to feel free to try things out. This is your personal account so go ahead and explore. You can't wreck anything for anyone else. Uh, you'll want to check out the four tabs at the top. Uh, the home tab is where you'll see your various classes and get notifications about recent submissions. Uh, the classes tab is how you manage your coursework. Uh, the planner tab helps with long range planning. And you'll want to check out this setup wizard at the top. This is where you can you know, check your settings, add products, create your classes, set up your calendar. Uh, again, this is your personal account, so don't worry about wrecking this for other people. Go ahead and try creating classes, etc., adding assignments, etc. If this was an actual course, the first time you logged into it, this would open up and it would walk you through the steps you need to get ready. But probably the tab you'll want to spend the most time with is this curriculum tab. This is where all the content is housed. Now you can preview the tests. There are three tests at each parallel OSSLT. Um, they're saved as PDFs here, so you could download them and, and check them out at your leisure. Uh, the first is pitched at a slightly lower reading level to provide easier access for students who might be struggling. But you also want to see how these tests function in an online environment and this is where it gets kind of interesting. Notice the three tests again but now there are two different modes for each of the tests. There's a test mode which has no support and is going to give you and your students a chance to really sense you know what it's like going through the OSSLT and finding out what are your strengths and areas for need. But if you're short of time definitely check out the review mode. This is where you're going to find out and get a chance to experience some of the supports that come with this resource. This is really intended for learning to help kids improve their literacy skills. Again, three tests. This is test one, 12 sections. You'll recognize them from the actual OSSLT, paralleling that faithfully. Uh, let's look at section one, reading news report. Uh, you'll notice there are multiple choice questions and, and open response questions. Both are in the review mode with support. You'll want to check both these out. Here's the uh, multiple choice question. Try it. Uh, you can read the selection. Just click on the links. There's a mini lesson here you can explore and uh, uh, kind of just mini in lesson. time help. And finally, you can answer the question. You know, go ahead, give it a try. Hope if you're not correct, it's going to give you a little tip as to how you might uh, learn and improve around this area. And again, there's that mini lesson that you can try. So try this out when you're done. Just close it up. You don't need to save it, or you can if you wish. Uh, there, that's the multiple choice. You'll also want to check out the uh, open response questions. Again, similar sorts of response. You can read the selection. You can uh, do some quick tips uh, around how to, there's, before you start, some tips here again for students. Just poke around. Uh, see, see what sort of supports are in there for uh, your students. And again, that mini lesson that we were talking about. Uh, you can even try, why not try typing something in and saving your work. So that's the multiple choice. That's the open response questions. Every section of the test is uh, organized similarly. But notice that not only can you assign it by test section, you can also assign that content by reading text form push out a news report. If that's what you're focusing on, why not just focus in on that section? Or by writing text form, opinion paragraphs, you know, short writing tasks, organizations and conventions, or by reading comprehension strategy. You know, maybe that's a focus. You know that's an area of need for your students and so you want to give them additional experiences with these types of tasks that focus on imp implicit ideas or making connections. Or you can say, hey, I, I want to talk about some strategies for multiple choice questions, so we're going to focus on the question type. As I mentioned, all the content for OSSLT success is in this demo, but you will notice that some of the functionality has been limited. For example, you can't add students or create reports for those students. Because of that, 
we've created some sample reports that you'll want to check out. So when you go back to the website, uh, make sure you spend some time just exploring the different ways that you can generate reports, organize the sort of data, and get uh, a really clear sense as to how your students are doing. So all the best with this demo. Enjoy poking around. Remember, it's your own personal account. You can't do any harm to anyone else who's going to view it after you. Enjoy.